Hey guys, what's going on? This is Justin. Hope you're all doing well, and I hope you guys had a great Christmas. And for the past while, I've been using the Moto Z actually for a few months, and this has been Motorola's uh, 2016 smartphone flagship device. So I thought this would be a great time to bring you guys a video on the five best features you can expect if you pick up a Moto Z. All right, so the first feature that's probably the most important and probably one of the main reasons this device was built in the first place is Moto Mods. Now, Moto Mods is really simple to use. You pick up any mod and all you have to do is just slap it onto the back of your Motorola device, whether it be the Moto Z, Z Force, or Z Play, and boom. Now you have the Moto Mod attached to your device and each mod can do various different things so for example, this Moto Mod is the Hasselblad True Zoom Camera Mod. In fact, I did a whole video on the Moto Mods a while ago, so definitely go check it out. You can click it over right there. But for example, this Hasselblad Camera Mod pretty much acts as my main primary camera shooter for this Motorola device instead of the one that's already decent but is already on the phone. They have other mods such as a speaker phone, battery pack, and a projector, and they're pretty cool. And honestly, they offer a polished experience. There's nothing too gimmicky with these mods. They work as advertised, which is something I really like. But the only issues I see with these mods are the price, as I can't quite justify buying some of these mods for upwards of $300. But the reason I added these mods as one of the best features for the Moto Z was the fact that the whole modularity concept is really awesome, and I'm really excited to see uh, more mods that Motorola can bring to the table along with a lowered price. In fact, I also heard some third-party developers are also going to be able to develop mods in the future for these Motorola devices, so that's also really exciting to see. And if you're somebody who's going to go pick up a Moto Z, uh, mods are definitely great as they complement the experience in general. You definitely can't go wrong with a battery pack and a few other mods that they have to offer as well. Now we've seen fingerprint scanners on more and more devices throughout the past years and Motorola finally caught up. So now we're seeing a fingerprint scanner on the Moto Z device. The Moto Z's fingerprint scanner is extremely fast and it's probably one of the most accurate fingerprint scanners I've seen this year so far. I mean, it's quite comparable to the Samsung S7 and even the iPhone 7. It's a really fast fingerprint scanner to say the least, but there is a catch though as you can't use the fingerprint scanner as a capacitive home switch button which is something I found kind of weird. And so instead, you're going to have to use on-screen buttons, which does take up more screen real estate space. But for those of you who use a Moto Z or any Moto device with a fingerprint scanner, I found an app which allows you to use the Moto fingerprint scanner as the home button. You can set it to many other features and options. I'll leave a link in the description down below if you're interested. But overall, in general, the Moto Z fingerprint scanner is one of the best I've seen so far this year. It's really fast and it's accurate, and it's something I find really useful when using an Android device. All right, so the next feature on the Moto Z I want to show you guys is the fact that it comes with USB-C as its primary port. Now, a number of reasons why I like USB-C. Now, first off, we've seen USB-C implemented on many new devices this year so far in 2016, such as the MacBook Pro. Whether you like it or not, all the way to the Google Pixel, you're going to be able to notice much faster file transfer speeds, whether it's photos, videos, or documents through the Moto Z to any device such as a laptop. You're also going to be getting much faster charging speeds, and also you get the convenience of plugging in a cord both sides in a much smaller form factor, which is also really useful. This year, we've seen a ton of great smartphone flagship devices, but not only in performance, but also design-wise, and the Moto Z is no exception. The Moto Z is, I think, around 5.2 millimeters in thickness, which is actually really thin as compared to some other 2016 flagship smartphones, which is actually pretty insane. The thickest part of the device is actually the camera on it itself, but that's where the Moto Mods come in, and it has metal rails on the side, which makes for a really premium and nice uh, handling experience. It feels great in the hand, but with all of that, you do get a little bit of slipperiness. I've come in close calls with dropping the Moto Z a few times, luckily I haven't yet. And if you're wondering what this is, this is a D-Brand skin. I'm rocking carbon fiber and a matte black camera hump skin from D-Brand. They look pretty awesome and it does add grip to your phone and also slight protection from scratches. So definitely do check that out if you're going to pick up a Moto Z or any other device. I'll leave a link in the description below. Looks pretty dope. In addition with that design, you're also getting some super thin bezels. And while it might have a little larger of a chin and forehead that you might like, you get a really immersive viewing experience, which is all something the design contributes towards. So the last feature on the Moto Z you guys for sure want to see is Moto Gestures. So for example, there's Chop for Flashlight. So you just chop the phone in a chopping fashion and then it'll quickly turn on the flashlight for you, which is really simple and easy to use. We also have Reach or Wave for Moto Display. So all you have to do is simply wave over the device and you'll quickly get a glance at any notifications and the time on a Moto Display without actually turning on the device. 
There's also a twist for a quick capture and simply all you have to do is twist the Moto Z and it'll quickly turn on your camera for you so you can snap photos or videos on the fly without actually having to go into the phone itself and open the camera app. You also get antenna display so in a nutshell the phone won't turn off as long as you're looking into it which makes it really great for example if I'm watching movies and sometimes the phone will shut off or if I'm just scrolling down or reading an article that's pretty long so the Moto Z won't actually close while I'm on the device. And also in addition, as the Moto gestures are really simple and easy to use, nothing too complicated, uh, that makes it great for a much better experience for making things easier than it regularly would be. Anyways guys, those are the 5 best features you can definitely expect picking up the Moto Z and this is actually a smartphone I can recommend as you get a great package deal with its performance, its design and also of course the Moto mods. Anyways guys, that does it for this video. As always, go hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this. Uh, also, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below whether you'd pick up the Moto Z or not and what your favorite smartphone from 2016 was. Also, let me know what you think of this new shooting style. I'm trying to incorporate a bit more A-roll from my room because it's kind of snowy outside. Uh, other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next time.